Hey Stampers, Gainer again, and I'm back with the last two cards um, from the Painted Wishes kit. We made this one first. You could put items in there, but because I've got it as a sympathy card, I just added gems on the inside and outside. And then we've got this beautiful corner patch card. And this and this were from the same card piece for one card. So there's the two cards for that one first card then I used the leaves and some of the green with the sentiment with a piece of designer series paper from the mostly adorned and then we've got this one it's I've used designer series paper this is one of the labels from the kit and then when you open it out I've used a little bit more designer series paper and the green cardstock I've stamped and I put a hello on the inside so it folds flat I mean, you could have it fold. Let me get it right. You could have it fold this way, but you wouldn't. You won't get it in your envelope now. But when you open your envelope, see, even that itself is beautiful. You could add a, a ribbon, maybe some gold thread. But the surprise is on the inside. So when your person of uh, recipient gets your card, they open it out. And they've got this beautiful inside. So that's card two, three and four. So we're going to make another two cards. And that's the three cards from the kit. So we've used this one. No, we've used this one. This one and an envelope. And now we're going to use this card front. We use the green on cards two and three. So we're using this section now. And I've cut it apart. So I've got the leaves here. This is from the first card, uh, second card. Uh, one of these leaves is off there. Is it off there or is it? Oh, it's down there. It's off that one. And then this is from this section of the card. So that's that piece. And that's taken from that section of the card. So two little bits. I mean, you could turn them into two different cards, but I think these two going together now will make a great and I'm going to use Moody Mauve because it is the colour in the card pack. It's a pale Moody Mauve, but it says it on the back. You've got Garden Green, Lemon Lime Twist, Moody Mauve, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock and Wild Wheat. So, my leftover leaves, I'm going to attach one up in this top corner. And I know there's going to be a gap here, but I'm going to attach this one on this side just so we can keep a bit of colour. I've pulled out another label. That's the only thing extra we've used is labels. But look what I've just found in my stash. I mean, it's not even... I think I had this from the range. Uh, but look how beautiful. Because it's got a gold theme, I might just pull them together to even it out. And I'm going to run this gold through there so once that's on there look at that how beautiful is my sentiment gonna look because there is gold thread in this and I think this is just a shade paler so let's get my runner I mean because this is a card blank this is cut at four by five and a quarter so when we put it over our gold cards, it's going to stick. So I think I will do the offset just because I want a small border there. And then I'm going to have this nice long border there. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to attach it this side. I, want, I normally make the card. I've seen quite a few videos of the ladies making the actual cards that come with the kit. To the instructions but i mean we can all see the instructions and we all know how to make the cards isn't that cute i mean you could have it either way up but because our sentiment is going this way we're going to keep it lengthways look at that absolutely beautiful so let me get my scissors i'm going to cut myself a little section off but have a look in your stash girls mm -hmm. 
we've got some wonderful things I'm going to add some tape just along the front I'm going to keep that more or less in the middle and I'm just going to flick it over because we're going to add dimensionals to our card and if I've got any excess I mean it's not going to take up any bulk but it just neatens it up a little bit so if I carried on making two cards from each card I'd have 18 cards and not just um, nine from the kit I'd have double the amount so now I'm going to add dimensionals and I'm going to stick oh, one on there and one on my ribbon and then a couple just down there. I'm going to take another gold card when I can find them. Keen has lost the... Am I going to use a card base? So I've got my envelopes. Where's my card bases? got bits that are pulled out no nope. this is just bits that are pulled out that's for my envelope oh I've got an, oh that's for the next card so that's the top bit so let's grab oh Dean is dropping everything there we go I've got a gold card I might as well get another one out ready for the next one oh I have I've got one out for the next card, not for this one. So these are the ones we had in the winter cat and then the winter catalog, I call it. I'm gonna take I always find the good edge and flip it. We're gonna take this, remove our bits. And then I'm just going to layer, giving myself a nice little quarter inch border. I mean, you could, I can't really, but I'm going to add that just through the center there. Isn't that cute? I may even just glue that down. Mm, are we going to glue? I'm going to add, let's add dimensionals. four on here right I'm going to grab I'm going to squash them down one two three four five I'm going to grab my flatter ribbon peel the backings up I know we've got a bit of gold with the strip going through and I'm going to tie a bow this time I think I'm going to do bunny tails as my husband calls it bunny ears I normally like to use my what's it called? My bow maker. Ugh. I don't think this one's gonna. I'm gonna give this one some decent sized tails actually. No, I've definitely got to use the bow maker. It just it just doesn't want to sit straight. So let's do let's wrap it round twice. I always find this way it's tight. I can always find the middle by shifting it around. Pull that nice and tight, and then I can pull apart my little ribbons. I'm going to keep these pretty long. That's a bit too long. There we go. I'm going to offset those little and then I'm just going to sit this. I'm going to sit it up in that corner actually because that's where the blank stuff is. 
Now I'm going to grab myself a little glue dot just to put my bow and keep it in place. I just wanted to tuck it underneath. Oh, where's my other little bow? There it is. A little strand. Oh, that's really stuck. So let's see if we can tuck that one under. Maybe I'll tuck it under that way. That's better. That one's stuck under there. That's got it. That's better. Okay, you, know, you need another dot. I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to roll it a little bit. Just to keep that. I'm going to roll it in my finger. It stops it from being sticky. Oh, that's so cute. So, I haven't even used any of the tear and tape that came with it yet. I do like their tear and tape, it's lush. Stick this back down the hole, keeps it from unraveling. And now for some of those beautiful little gems. So we're gonna have large, small, the large, opposite sides this time, and a small, and we're just gonna come in with a small one this end as well so we've got five but there we go a lovely quick and simple card just using up the leaves and i tell you what would look nice if you've got the leaf punch which i have but i put my thing away without putting the lid on uh, a leaf punch and some vellum tucked behind there now that would give some dimension oh give me two seconds let me find my leaf punch that sounds lovely got my punch let me find some vellum in my drawer oh i lost my fingernails <laughs> so i've got some my vellum couple of those out keeping them as close as possible grab myself my little glue because I haven't seen anyone make any alternative cards yet and I put some on the front and at the back just so I can top that leaf in there and if you want to you can grab your pokey tool and just bend your leaves just to give them a little bit of dimension I should have done that before I stuck it down actually just curl those leaves around that one's tuck under let me get my so I'll put your pokey tool in the centre and just curl that round just to give dimension. It's easy enough to do. I'm just trying to do this in the centre so I don't skew with. So I've got my little 3D. And then again, I'm just going to add glue on the back and on the front. And I'm just going to lift, whoops, I'm just going to lift up the front of that ribbon and I'm just going to tuck that down. Grab my little glue rubber. I've just ordered a new one. I've had this but since I started stamping up seven years ago and it's now cut in half I don't know where the other half went it still works but it's dirty so we've got card numbers look at those beautiful and if you want to add a little bit of texture just 
Ransom Winker Stella, which I always find kills my vellum up anyway. Just go through the scent release, add a little bit more sparkle and shine. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you'll see it. Oh yeah, look, sparkle on those beautiful vellum leaves. So that is card number five. So let's pop that to one side while we crack on. So this is the piece that I cut off from those leaves. It's the other end and I've shortened it down to be four inches. Now I've found one of my background dies. I've had this for a long time. This was gifted to me by the lovely Cindy. Uh, and it's four and a quarter by five and a half, exactly. So I cut, put my card in, ran it through, and then cut it down to be, I know it's four, the same width as this pattern, so it goes down my page. And I think this is, yeah, it's four by, oh, two and seven eighths. Yeah, it's four by two and seven eighths. You could have left it three. Again, I'm going to add these together. And I've still got one strip of green from another card. And I stamped it with this stamp, which is from Nature's Notes of Nature. It's this one here. And I also used the flower on the other one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the two. And then trim it down I think I might need a fraction going off that so let's get some tape just to add a line of tape I should use my mat really but it's covered up so I'm gonna add the grid paper and I've added it upside down because obviously sticky and I'm gonna turn it round now and add my floral piece now I'm gonna have the flower yeah I'm gonna have the leaves sticking up the top so this piece is slightly smaller than my other piece but it's not that noticeable and then that's going to go against that gold card in the background. Maybe I shall just lift this gently and take that up a notch. That's better. Let's see if that. Oh, it looks ski whiffed now. Oh my goodness, gain of that skew with. We can't have it skew with, can we? Maybe it's. Let me add this first. Oh, my backing's coming off. Right, let me add this. This is the back anyway, so I want to keep it straight. So I'm going to add just on my squares and dark around the edge. We all make boo boobs, girls, so I'll make them so you don't have to. Just put one in the centre of each one of those. There we go. Oh, I've done it the wrong side. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's still giving me that effect. Lay that down nice and straight. Use my Teflon bone folder. This will dry clear. Right, now I need to add this section so it's straight. It's the green bit that's wrong. That is gonna be so hard to get off there. She says. I'm pulling it gentle, pull gentle. There we go, I've got hold of it. Woohoo! Oh, we salvaged that one, girls. Play 
plenty of glue on there. Now I want to keep this as straight as possible. So when I come to add my green strip, I'm going to keep it straight now. That's better. Oh, that's got it. A little bit of glue on the end there. It was ski with. That's better. Now it looks straight. So I'm having the wishing you. Am I going to have the wishing you? I might have the celebrate actually. I think that because I've, I've used quite a lot of the labels, so I think I'll put the label back ready for the next lot of cards. I think I'll use that celebrate just across there. I think that's really cute actually. So let's grab some dimensionals. See, oh, it's already got them on. Oh, am I lucky? I put them on the other day because I had to cut them in half to get them round on the sea. But I've got love you, thinking of you, oh happy day. But I think the celebrate will be lovely, which is from the uh, hybrid embossing folder. Thoughtful moments, if I remember rightly. And again, we could let me hold that there. Let me grab some more of that vellum. Grab myself another couple of little leaves. I'm grouping it here, so I use little or if hardly any. There we go. There's my leaves. There's my little bit of stuff. I grouped it to get a. I'm getting stuck on everything, girls. Right. Stuck to my nails. I grouped everything so I can just chop that bit out. I'm not using tons of vellum. Like this time, I'm just going to do the same. We could even add some ink. Or use, if you're going to use blends on vellum, use it at the back because it will show through and if you add Wink Stella like I did with the B the other week it does not fade so I always colour from the back just giving some to, I love these leaf stamps and the little sprig one so I've got the sticky sticky bit so we're going to add one behind I'm not pressing hard because I want to come in with this one and then I can press that down then took that little leaf behind there and then if worse comes to it and why is that sticking up I don't know I'm just going to add a tiny little dot of glue just to hold them in place. That is cute than a button. So yeah, I, I found quite a few background ones actually. And it's the first time I've ever used this and I like it. So I've also got this one in, in the shape of leaves. That would fit on a card. Mad what you go, what you find when you go through your stash. That is five and five eighths by, ooh, I would say three and seven eighths, three and fifteen sixteenths. Then there was this one, which is an array of flowers just all joined together. So that's cute. And then I saw these. I've got a stars background and I've got the love art background and they've never been used. Somebody gifted me these a long time. I must have been Cindy. 
but I will have to do some and now we've got that um, mostly adorned is it called this new love heart one ready for yeah most adorned the love art one for the backgrounds will be absolutely beautiful in fact this paper has got look little tiny love hearts look and it matches my uh background stamp so oh watch this space Mr. Boyce will be getting a Valentine's card this year. <laughs> I don't normally give it. We don't normally get cards for each other because I make them for one. I tell him not to waste money because I make them. <laughs> and he won't ask me to make myself one. So, But yeah, I just thought, why not use these backgrounds? I love them. And it's made a really pretty card. So we've got leaves. We've got... Uh, 3d leaves you've got this gorgeous celebrate and again i'm going to come in and this time i'm just going to try and keep it in the center where the words are i think i'm ready to open new when costella so my celebrate will sparkle yeah it's empty now but never throw these away you can add rubbing alcohol and ink and you can have what bit of sparkle is left and paint with them and just going around the letters and because it's a raised edge it gives you the raising as it goes through the embossing folder so you're not having to literally douse the whole you are just actually going on the letters I've got loads of these I haven't added any ink yet because I haven't done any I haven't done any colouring for a while girls oh that reminds me but I'm just putting I don't know if you can see it on there oh there we go look sparkle on there whoops I've even got a gold one now these are all clear now they've run out they've all got bits of juice in so i've got a white one as well clear clear white this one's good for christmas cards you draw on it's white sparkle and it stains let's see if i've got a bit of red in here let me have a look yeah i've got a little piece of cherry cobbler oh i'm black you get the cherry cobbler so this is a white wink of stella they do all colors on the internet so i just and it used to turn white I have to squeeze the juice a bit. Oh, the eyes come in. I'm going to put the lid on to give it a shake. But yeah, it normally sh that's there. It looks, it shows up white. I must admit, stamping up cardstock soaks it right up. But if you're doing a snowy scene, it will dry white. Or it used to. I've had it that long. But I've also got a gold one. This one, a little better on white. Let's have find a bit of white cards there. Let's grab some out of the bin. And this is gold. And it's it's got its shimmer in there. Let me see if I can see it. It's not showing up, the shimmer isn't. It is in there. Mind you, this is, I've had this for about four years. Maybe that needs a bit more sparkle putting in. But it does sparkle, I can see it. But yeah, keep all these. Literally, get yourself some rubbing alcohol. Take off the labels and then put a little round quarter inch 
dot on of the colour ink you put in there and you can paint with them and some will keep the sparkle and even when they've run out of sparkle you can still use them as colour as painting brushes so I've got a right stack coming and see it's starting to dry white um, I've got my ink I'm gonna grab myself another little one of these beautiful little butterflies and I've cut this out of the cardstock that came free with stamping up so I'm just gonna pop that on there I don't mind that you can see blue the other side okay has left a pin out there we go I might just add that here on the white and I know it's going to fold flat in the card but if you ask your recipient and tell them that the butterfly if they pull the wings up will stand up beautiful off the card like that just gives it that lovely little elegance as well so pin away put my punch away this time I'm going to fetch in these beautiful peacocks because they're going to keep those with my card kit and I'm going to go with the rose colour because these will actually match the flower so I'm going to put two there and I'm going to get another large one and just pop that in the centre of that flower a small one in there And a small one in the center of that one so we've got three four five so there is card number six isn't that pretty love it so we've got six cards from three cards out of the kit we've turned them into six so give me a second to pop these bits away you could also add some of these beautiful gems I only use two one of the envelopes I've still got at loads of envelopes and you can cut these apart for embellishments on the side you could even attach this somewhere and have it as a flap but uh, these have got left so that's card five and six let me get me bits out of the way then I can fetch in the other cards to show you Get my stamps out the way, my pokey tools. So, out of the, like I'm saying, we use three cards. So this is card one. This was card two. This was card three. This is beautiful card four. This is card five. And this is beautiful card number six so there are my alternative cards for one each of the cards that are in the kit let me grab that for you to have a look so we've got a pink card which is there and we've also got uh, this half of the leaves on this one this card is half of that one and then the other bit is die cut out for this one this card is the top half of here and this card is the other half of that one and the bottom half of that one and then this just used up mostly the green that came in the card kit which you can see is behind these cards and then uh, one of the gorgeous labels so I hope you've enjoyed these are my alternatives we like to get more from our card kits and I think even if you just doubled the kit, you would get way more. Well, you're going to get twice as many cards as what you would just using the kit. The kit alone is beautiful. But uh, like I say, we all like to get a little bit extra. My lighting is terrible. Have I knocked my lamp? My light seems to be... That's better. For some reason, it was just... That's a little brighter, is it? I don't know. It's uh, is that better? I don't know. I'm crap with the light. And Mr. Boyce normally sorts that out for me. <laughs> but there we go. There's six beautiful cards. Cards one and two, three and four, and five and six. I hope you give them a go. 
if you don't have this background stamp use another one um, use anything or even just maybe I don't know um, use an embossing folder on something that's another thing you can do is use embossing folders so pull in any gems that you may have that coincide I've also just found my these are the jute trim which is in wild wheat and it's also got the moody mauve in there so if you don't have extra gold trim you could use some of this nice thick jute twine you've got your little gems that came in the kit as well but there we go i hope you love it um i've enjoyed making these cards for you lovely ladies all glory to our great lord and savior come back on the next video and we'll do something totally different but yes, without him, then we have no talent. So love you all. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care, girls. Bye.